Only on three, thieves steal more than $35,000 from her bank, and she is not the only victim of a multi-million dollar identity theft ring. News Channel 3's Bob Matthews has this story that you will see only on three. Rachel Hill said the bills started coming in last month. Charge cards kept coming in my name and, and return checks that I didn't write, just all kinds of stuff. It, I mean, it's kind of like a nightmare. The problem is Rachel didn't buy any of this stuff. Her identity was stolen from Bank of America. Not only did somebody open up charge accounts from department stores, computer stores, and auto stores, they also cleaned out her checking account. They even cashed in a $33,000 CD, leaving her broke. When you can't get to your finances, it is a fear on you. You know, like you see things you want, you see things you need. But we can't get it because of that. The real mystery was how did all of this happen? Rachel says she doesn't bank online. She hasn't lost a purse, a wallet, even a checkbook. She said she was shocked to find out that thieves were able to get her information from the bank itself. The lady that worked in customer service sold the information. You heard right. Virginia Beach Detective Terry Dugan says he followed the trail to Bank of America's Customer Service Center. Police say a worker sold Rachel's information to a criminal ring that was stealing from people all over the country. The trail went from Virginia Beach to Jacksonville, Florida, and spread out all over the country. Police say the thieves stole more than $4 million. But yesterday, police in Florida arrested two people and charged them with being part of the ring. As for Rachel, she got her money bank from Bank of America yesterday, and she wants the person responsible punished. I actually want her to, to go to prison. I really do. I mean, you know, I know we have to show love, but uh, she needs to pay for her crimes because people trust us, the banks. Rachel said she knew something was wrong initially when she got a letter from Bank of America saying they had changed her birth date. The problem was she never told them to change that birth date. She also tells us that both B of A and Virginia Beach and Florida police say this is a ring that investigators have been trying to crack for months. Bob Matthews, News Channel 3.